Hi everyone. I'm here at the beach with my two friends Tommy. Hi. And Thumbelina. Hello. And today is February 18th. It is Thumb Appreciation Day. So we're gonna celebrate our thumbs. Woohoo! Let's give our thumbs a thumbs up. Yay! We'll start our program by learning some facts. Get it, thumb facts? <laughs> Instead of some facts. <laughs> well, here's a thumb fact. Look at your thumbs. Did you know that no two thumbprints are alike? Really? Wow, that's cool. I know that a thumb fact. Your thumb helps you pick things up. Do you know what would be fun to do? How about spending some time during the day not using our thumbs? That would really help us appreciate our thumbs. That sounds tricky. How about tying your shoe without using your thumb? Or buttoning a button on a shirt? I know one. How about opening a container without using thumbs? Now let's use our thumbs and do some thumbprint art. Well, before we start our art, we're gonna warm up our thumbs. Let's do some exercises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, whoa, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, Tom, your hair. Let's get your hair back on, bud. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do some dancing. Can you dance with us? I just love music. Let's start celebrating our Thumb Appreciation Day by doing some thumbprint art. Yay! Here are some of the supplies that I will be using for today's program. Some thick markers, thin markers, a pair of scissors, Google eyes, crayons, a notepad, scratch paper, ink pads, and baby wipes, which are really important. <laughs> if you wanna make a creation of your own and you don't have the supplies that I had, you can just use some scrap paper, a sponge with paint on it, or some watercolors, along with some water. If you're using watercolors, you just take a, a glass or bowl of water and you dip your brush into the water, put it into some paint, and then you paint your thumb. Then you make your thumb print. If you want to use paint, and a sponge, I just wet the sponge a little bit and I put a little bit of paint in there so it can soak through because you don't want to just glop paint on your thumb. You want it to dry quickly. So you just put your thumb in the sponge with the paint on it, rub the paint a little bit, and then place your thumb on the paper and there's your thumbprint. Make sure that you always have some type of towel that's wet and also a dry towel because you wanna make sure you take the paint off of your thumb. So I have some baby wipes to clean my thumbs and those help a lot because then you can just throw it away if something makes a mess. It's very easy to use the baby wipes. Then your thumb is completely clean for the next project. Okay, let's get started making some thumbprint art. I have my stamp pads and some scratch paper and we're going to make faces. If you know how to draw scribbles or lines, letters, curves, that's all you need to be able to do to make a lot of the thumbprint art. So it's pretty simple. So let's get our first person made. I'm gonna put my thumb in ink and place my thumb on the paper. And I'm going to make a smile on a person because I want my person to be happy. So I just make a curve and two dots for eyes. It's that simple. Let's do another color. I have my baby wipe over here that I'm gonna use to clean my fingers off, that's so helpful. So let me see. All right, what other type of face could I make? How about a sad face? So I'm gonna make a downward curve and two dots for eyes. 
How about someone who is like just bored? Make, I'm gonna make the two dots for eyes and then a straight line for the mouth. They don't really care. They're just kind of like, meh. <laughs> All right, and I have orange. Let's make an orange head. How about a person that is scared? So I got two dots for eyes and a scary mouth. And my last person is going to be really happy. I'm gonna make a big mouth and a smile. I just make my two dots for eyes. So after you make your faces, all you have to do is just draw some lines or some curves to add a hair or the body. So I'm gonna make some spiky hair for this person, maybe curly hair for this one. How about um, straight curved hair for this guy? or girl and really long hair. Get a, make a little bit more hair on this one. And then how about no hair? So let's make a line down for the body and then a line, two lines up and two lines down. Or you can add parts to your body onto your head like that. Here is just some little sticks and you can make the arms go down. How about wavy legs and wavy arms? And my last one, I'm going to make a shape for a body. There you go. I'll put a little bit of hair right there, just a little tiny bit. Now let's make a bug. I'm going to use all of my ink pads to make a bug. So I got pink, blue, or I forgot to wipe off my finger. I need to make sure I wipe my thumb off because if I don't, I'll start messing my ink pads up because all the colors will start mixing. Got green, I keep forgetting to wipe off my finger. Now I got some green on my yellow, that can happen. What do you think I'm gonna make? How about a caterpillar? Got my antenna, so you just draw two lines and circles, and then a curve for a mouth, a circle for an eye, and let's draw some little feet. Does that look like a caterpillar? Let's make another bug. This bug's gonna be red. What do you think it might be? Hmm. I'm gonna use my black and I'm gonna make a line down the center, a curve at the top. I'm gonna color in the, the top part and make two antenna, which is two lines, and then make some dots. Do you know what it is already? I bet you do. It's a ladybug. How about this bug? I wonder what this could be. Let's see if you can figure out my yellow thumbprint and then I'm going to make some wings hmm I bet you're probably already figuring out what this one might be so I have my wings I made two curves together and then I'm gonna make two circles at the top for eyes color those in and then I'm going to make some stripes what do you think that is? It's a bumblebee. Now I'm going to make a scene using my thumbprint. I have a green marker, so I'm gonna color in some grass. And then I'm gonna draw a straight line for a stem. I'm gonna use my green thumbprint to make leaves and then yellow for the center of my flower and then red for my petals. This would be a cute card to give to someone. How about a sun, sun? 
And I'm gonna make some rays for my sun. Just put some straight lines going out for the rays of my sun. If you have sticky notes or note cards, you can also make a cheerful little note to give to someone. I'm going to take my black marker and draw some lines for streams. Make a bow. And then put some thumbprints at the edge of my my strings. Remember my baby wipes. These are great for encouraging someone during their day and you can just put these in, in someone's lunchbox or around the house and say mom I love you, or dad, or grandma, brother, or sister. Have a great day. That's a wonderful way to use thumbprints to encourage people. And you can leave those around town too, at the gas station, the grocery store. Everybody needs some encouragement. And that's just a great way to lift someone up and give them a little bit of joy in their life for that day. Since we just had Valentine's Day, it's a great time to think about some different thumbprint art you, that you could make for some of the holidays that are coming up. You can use your thumbprint art to make cards or maybe gift tags to give for gifts. So I'm going to go ahead and make something that would represent Valentine's Day. I'm gonna use my thumbs and put them at an angle and here is a heart. So you could just make a heart and say, I love you. Or I'm going to make a picture of an animal. Let's see if you can figure out which animal it is. There's the head. And there are the two ears. Can you guess what it is already? I'm going to make some eyes, a little circle for a nose triangle for a mouth, and some whiskers. If you guessed a bunny, you were correct. So for my note, I'm gonna say thumb, since we were using our thumbs, bunny loves you. And you could use that for Valentine's Day or even you could use it for Easter. Thumb Bunny loves you, and it's a play on words. Instead of saying somebody loves you, you're saying Thumb Bunny loves you. <laughs> it's a cute little joke. Try playing a game using your thumbprints. You can take turns with a friend trying to guess what type of picture the other person is going to make. I'm going to play with you, so, all right, get your thinking caps on. I'm gonna use the Google eyes that I had earlier and put those on my thumbprint just to make it look a little different. I have a black crayon, so I'm going to make some legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can probably guess what it is. If you thought it was a spider, you were correct. Let's make another one. Let's see if you can guess what this is. I'm gonna get the pink. I'm gonna use one eye. Let's use a big eye for that one.
What do you think that is? If you said a bird, you were correct. And you can even make like a little wing for your bird. Make it look like it has some little feathers. I'm gonna use the orange. My orange, and I'm gonna make two eyes. This time, I'm going to make some strings coming down. What do you think this could be? I'm gonna make a smiley face. I need a darker color for my smiley face. What do you think that is? If you said an octopus, you were right. So that's a really fun game to play. If you're looking for a great thumbprint drawing book, this one by Ed Emberley is really good and it's in our collection. Just go online to our catalog and place it on hold and it will get sent and have it sent to your local branch. He, use, he uses an easy step-by-step -step process for young children and older children. And a lot of times he, you don't have to be a strong reader to use his books. I also use Pinterest for inspiration. Have a great thumb appreciation day.